Hey Necromancers, I uh, tried to do this video earlier and realized that I was not recording my mic, so we're going to go ahead and start this over. Um, this video uh, is about a quest called Azrax's Legacy, and as soon as I zone here, I'll show you a picture of the item that we're going to be talking about. Um, this is one of the main reasons Erudite Necromancers are awesome and classic. Um, this quest, you do need to be level 54, and it does require a little bit of faction work. Um, you will absolutely destroy your Aridin faction. If you liked that and were trying to work it up, this is not the quest for you. However, if you want probably the best shoulder item in the game in classic, maybe even in Kunark, but in Kunark we are going to be going to, as a uh, Ixar. So as an Erudite Necromancer, this is Intelligence 10, Mana 75. This is huge. To give you an idea of how huge this is, the next most uh, good thing that you can get is the Pauldrons of Power from Inaruk in Plane of Hate, which are Intelligence 9, Mana 30. So mana-wise, this is better than Raid Loot. Okay, and this is something that you can do solo at level 50 uh, if you were so inclined. Let me rephrase that. You cannot do this solo. Um, <clears throat> you can do this duo, um, and it's not for any of the fights. You can do all the fights by yourself. Um, however, this quest is one that is not... Um, I don't think it was entirely thought through when it was put into the game and I'm going to explain exactly why. Um, I'm not going to be doing this in pieces, so this is going to go a little bit backwards for everybody, but I will get to all the pieces um, before the end of the video, so hang tight with me. So the item is called Mantle of Souls. The quest is Azrax's Legacy. It starts in Painil, um, but we are running to Halas for the first explanation point here. Um, I do want to apologize while I'm running. Uh, our family has been a little sick, so while I have been playing, I haven't been making videos. In fact, you may hear uh, my baby in the background now and again. If you hear weird noises, that's what that is. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said, this quest starts in Paynil, um from a guy named Ernax. He's in the library. I'll show you how to get there. Um, like I said, we're going to do this a little out of order. Um, the factions and the work involved in this are a little um, nonsensical, <laughs> to be quite frank about it. So, um, basically what happens is you go talk to Ernax. He will give you a box, and in that box you combine three items. Then you turn those three items into the Tormented Soul in Paineal, and you get the shoulder piece. Pretty easy. Okay, so the first item that we're going to talk about is the Bloody Mantle. Uh, this item comes from um, a mob called the Dark Assassin. You may or may not have run into him before. I personally haven't. Um, I had to look him up. There's a lot of good info on there uh, about him, so he's well documented. He is a level 50 mob, <clears throat> and he is soloable, much like this vengeful soloist. Where's my pet? Apparently, Gaban is lost. Okay. Moving on. Let's go ahead and viz up because we are KOS 2 Barbarians. So, we are headed. You'll notice. <coughs> right here, Dark Assassin. Uh, and I had... The points on my map. 
I no longer have the points on my map. <clears throat> but that's okay. Um, the points are listed on um, Alakazam. You can copy and paste those numbers into your text file on your map and they will show up on your map and they show the placeholder stopping points. Um, I'm not going to go over all the stopping points but I am going to talk to you about the mob that you are looking for which is an ice goblin whelp. It's not this ice goblin whelp um, but it is a ice goblin whelp or a snow leopard. Okay. Um, like I said, this mob, the Dark Assassin, is level 50. He is soloable, but he is not easy. So if you've got a friend, bring a friend. It'll make your life a lot easier. Um, because if he uh, resists your darkness, you're basically hosed. This guy hits fast, and he hits hard, and he runs way faster than J-Boots. Um, and he will just eat through your pet, and it's bad news bears. So, um, getting to the point to where this is a little backwards, um, basically we get the, the bloodstained mantle from this dark assassin, we get a piece, uh, a crystal from Jalen Goldsinger and Tox, and we get the heart of a druid, um, what's the actual item name here, it is... Heart of the Pure Druid from Alania Peace Heart in Greater Fate Arc. She is the only um, the only mob that I will not be going over here um, <clears throat> because she's basically always up and um, really easy to solo. Level 45, not resistant at all. She'll cast on you, um, but wasn't difficult. Darkness landed, fear landed, pet, ignite blood, she's dead. Easy peasy, nothing added, no real work involved at all. Okay. Um, so, this placeholder spawns right here by this tower. And we'll walk over somewhere over here, somewhere over there, somewhere back here, and then back. And just does this little circle. Again, you can find the points. On Alakazam, it's pretty easy. Um, what you're going to do is find those points and go to them and find an Ice Goblin Whelp or a Snow Leopard. Okay, This is not the right Snow Leopard, but what I did is I came around here and I just killed all the Snow Leopards I could find um, around here. Because when you're starting to search for him, you're not sure if it's a snow leopard, you're not sure if it's an ice goblin whelp. It is more often an ice goblin whelp than it is a snow leopard. Okay. Um, the spawn point is right here. Okay. So it spawns and it starts walking up this way. It actually goes like through the tower, comes around here, comes up this direction. might get lucky and actually find it here I bet that's him right there a nice goblin whelp okay so he's going over to his spot here the his spawn is two minutes uh, about a hundred and uh, just a little bit over two minutes okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill him and we're gonna run back to our spot here to see if that was our guy I'm almost positive it is because there aren't a lot of ice goblin whelps that wander around down here uh, there are a lot more snow leopards. If you don't 
find an ice goblin whelp. Um, the first time I did this, I had a ranger buddy helping me, and very useful. So bring a ranger, bring a druid, look for an ice goblin whelp around down here. Once you kill the ice goblin whelp, you hang out here for about two minutes and chances are another one will spawn. Okay, if it doesn't, obviously you're looking at a snow leopard. Uh, things get a little bit more tricky. But, like I said, once you have the spawn down, it's really not difficult at all. You sit here and you kill it over and over and over and over. Uh, it took me probably about 40 minutes to get this guy to spawn. Um, you don't want to stand right on the spot. You want to stand back here a ways. Uh, because, like I said, he is level 50 and he will kick your butt. <clears throat> so, once he spawns, once you get him killed, you'll loot a bloody mantle. And that's about it for that. That's the first part. The next part um, is the crystal. Uh, like I said, we already talked about the third part, the pure heart of a druid or whatever from the chicken and greater fate arc. Super easy. I'm not going to worry about that one. This next part is the real tricky part. This is the part that uh, they don't tell you how to do on Alakazam or P99 or whatever. Okay. So, in order to get the crystal from Jalen Goldsinger and Tox, you have to give him a hundred plat and a potion of sorrow. Now, a potion of sorrow is obtained from a guy named Gorth in Halas. You give him 50 plat and he gives you a potion of sorrow. Now, there are well, let's be frank about this. There's no way you as an erudite necromancer are ever going to be able to get this potion from Gorth. Um, you can do some of the, the tricks I'm going to tell you about to get it, but here's the easy way. Um, you get somebody like a ranger friend who you will need anyway um, to do the, the next part with Jalen. And you give him 50 plat, and you tell him to go get it for you. Now, the Potion of Sorrow is no drop. Okay? So this is going to have to be multi-quested. The, the faction that Gorth is on um, is the Steel Warriors, the, the, the warrior, uh, Wolves of the North. That's what it's called. Um, and while you can do null things and such, you can turn those in to raise that faction, you first have to be non-KOS to turn them in to the Warrior Guild in Halas. Now again, you can do some of these tricks to actually turn those items in to try to raise it up. Um, the, the way to check where you're at um, is if you go to your character here, go to factions this is a nice little tool that uh, daybreak put in we're gonna go to classic that's where we're at if we go to wolves of the north all the way down at the bottom scowling 241 points to threatening that's that's not going anywhere soon that's a lot of null things if you want to do it feel free the easy way is to get a buddy Make an alt, whatever it is you need to do. Um, when I say make an alt, obviously it, it should be on a different account. You can do it on the same account. However, it's easier if, if you can get a friend to do it because you will need um, a friend with invisibility um, and preferably pacification to do the next part with Jalen Goldsinger anyway. Okay, so. Oh, there goes my invis. Luckily, right before. I'll show you where he's at. <clears throat> Here in Halas. Obviously, your KOS in Halas as an erudite necromancer. There's no way around it, really. Um, I guess that the amount of work is just ridiculous. 
So, uh, why am I even showing you where he is? Well, he's not hard to find, but if you're going to explain to somebody who's going to help you multi-quest this, you're going to need to know where he is. Um, so he's, you're going to give him 50 plot. He's going to give that person the potion of sorrow. There is some, some dialogue that you can go about. Um, if you're not KOS, it doesn't really matter. You can just hand it to him. And uh, he'll give you the potion of sorrow. So we take a quick left in here. Over in this torque shop. The golden torque. Okay, he's right behind this curtain. Okay. He does not like you. If you try to talk to him, he will try and kill you. Um, so once your friend, your alt, whatever, gets the Potion of Sorrow, we're going to take it back to Tox. Now, I'm going to go ahead and origin. This is one of those parts where we're going to be doing things a little out of order. We're now going to skip to the very beginning of the quest. And I'm going to show you where it is, um, where Ernax can be found. He's always up, um, so he's not difficult to find. The phrase we're going to say to him is, I wish to speak to you on a matter of the soul. All right, so we're in the Necromancer Guild. We're going to turn around. Uh, before we go on our map, we are looking for, right here, Ernax the Scholar. So if we're looking at all of Paineal, we are currently down here. He's right up here, Ernax the Scholar. Now, we're going to put that on the back burner for a minute. The guy we hand this into at the very end is called a tormented soul and he is let's see if I can go find him here right there there he is okay we are uh, skipping around here so stay with me tormented soul I'm gonna con him I am kindly Okay, let's go back to our factions here. He is on the Heretics faction. Character, faction standing. We're going to go to Heretics. Okay, I was not normally kindly with Heretics. I had to work that up. And I'm going to show you how in a minute. <clears throat> so I'm kindly. I was actually uh, amiable, I believe when we started this, but this is your final turn in guy here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's go find Ernax. Let's see. We need to go through this teleporter, which will take us there around and he is right inside here on the main floor Ernax the scholar so we hail him he tells us some things we say I wish to speak to you on a matter of the soul he gives us a book you just give the book right back to him he gives you a box, okay, a soul trap. I'm going to go ahead and, well, we can just open it up. It's a four slot. You're going to put three things in it. I'm going to go ahead and destroy it because I obviously don't need it. So this is how we start. We come to Ernax. We talk to him. He gives us a book. We give it back. We get a box. That box is what we combine everything in to give to the tormented soul at the end. The three items we need are, number one, the Bloody Mantle, which we get from the Dark Assassin, which we just talked about. Number two, the Heart of a Pure Druid, 
Um, the exact name is, yeah, Heart of the Pure Druid. I'm sorry, from Alania, Peace Heart, and Greater Fate Arc. Level 45, really easy to kill. Um, the third part is a crystal from Jalen Goldsinger. The exact name is... <coughs> I'm looking at it online here a crystal of capturing okay so in order to get the crystal of capturing we need to go to Gorth in Halas we need to give him 50 plat in order to get the potion of sorrow we as an erudite necromancer cannot do that so we're gonna have a friend do that for us and then have that friend come to Tox forest where we will meet them the Potion of Sorrow is no drop. The Crystal of Capturing is also no drop. Okay, so Jalen Goldsinger will give, give us the Crystal of Capturing for the Potion of Sorrow and 100 plat. Um, a little lore that doesn't make sense to me is when you talk to Gorth to get the Potion of Sorrow, he tells you, you know, there's nothing nothing good that it can be used for. So why Jalen wants it, you know, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but uh, obviously he's up to no good. However, even though he's up to no good, he's not on a faction that has anything to do with evilness. <clears throat> okay, so Jalen Goldsinger is right here on our map. Uh, he's an enchanter, and uh, he does not like you. Well, let me put it this way. He didn't like me. Okay. The internet says that there are no factions associated with him. Um, he was threatening to me. He's still threatening to me. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did this well I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did this um, I had a ranger friend the same ranger who helped me track down the the ice goblin whelps and Hallis um, he came with me here he got the potion of sorrow from Gorth he's a wood elf ranger I think so he's not KOS or anything in Hallis we came up to Jalen Goldsinger and he handed her the potion of sorrow and he took it and then it was time to do our part which is to hand in the 100 plat in order to get the crystal okay the problem is you can't turn anything into him without him attacking you and so we had to do some tricky things now people will tell you oh just you know feign death and then turn it in well they fixed that you cannot turn anything in while feign death and, and I'll show you that here so if I'm just gonna give him one copper here he's gonna give it right back I can stand here next to him I'm indifferent once I open it the, the thing or try to give it to him it's gonna drop my invisibility I can hand it to him if I give it to him here, I'm threatening. He's obviously not going to take it. Okay. If I give it to him and feign death, I can't feign death. I'm clicking here. I'm clicking here. I'm using my hotkey. I can't cast anything while I'm doing this. Okay. So I can't feign death. If I'm actually going to have to mess him here and kill his pet so I can feign death he will constantly cast on you he's not really that big of a threat if I'm feign death I can't give it to him he's just gonna tell me he's busy right now okay so this is how we do it it took a lot of screaming terror to get this guy <laughs> to leave us alone um, when I had my ranger friend here. So Screaming Terror works. I'm going to go ahead and feign death.
once Screaming Terror wears off, we should be out of aggro. What you're going to want to do, at least this is how I did it. He's going to kill my pet here. I'm just going to get rid of that. We walk up to him invisible. We actually should be okay. Nope. It's still aggro to me here. Uh, I, I'll just explain it to you since I can't do it anyway. What we ended up doing, uh, so I, we're both out of aggro, okay, I go invisible, he has a hate for me today. Um, you go invisible, and you have your ranger friend pacify him um, I, I guess you could also do this with an enchanter uh, so you cast pacification on him looks like a little bird at least on the icons that I'm using um, so you're invisible he's pacified you walk up behind him like we did before before you give him the hundred plat again your your person who's doing your multi quest has to give him the potion first you give him the hundred plat second so you're invisible he's pacified you walk up behind him you get a hundred plat in your cursor here okay before you give it to him you have your your person start casting invisibility on you okay and the reason is, is because once you have opened your window, you cannot cast spells, but you can have spells cast on you. So you're here. He has pacification on him. Before you give it to him, the other person starts casting invisibility. Before it hits you, you give it to him. Boom. You open the window, and then invisibility hits. So now you're invisible and you have an open window so you're now indifferent to them then you can go ahead and hit give and it will allow you to give it to them and you'll get your crystal that is the most difficult part of this entire quest trying to figure that out <laughs> was the most difficult part um, like I said this there really isn't any other way that I know of you can maybe have an enchanter charm him and give it to him um, but other than that there's no way to raise your faction with Jalen Goldsinger okay there's no way for you to raise your faction with Gorth Bear Claw or whatever his name is I'm gonna look at it here Gorth Bear Soul in order to get the potion of sorrow yourself um, without doing some sort of workaround so that's why I say from the beginning that there is, um, it wasn't quite thought through. The factions weren't quite right. Um, there's no way to do this without multi questing. Okay, so you cannot do this on your own as an erudite necromancer, which it's an erudite necromancer only item, and it's no trade. So <clears throat> now let's backtrack again to the heretics faction these guys are the ones you're gonna kill well let me let's not kill these guys they're level 50 but if you come into arid in here you're gonna find some sentinels just like them I used the ones in the arid palace they're like level 30 to 40 um, real easy to kill they do heal they do run all you do is cast darkness on them, send your pet in. This will absolutely destroy your Aridin faction, but you only need to do five or six kills in order to get the faction that you need to do the final turn in. Okay, this guy here, level 30, super easy. Again, this guy here, they will assist each other. They're not difficult at all. You could probably kill them at the same time. Um, We'll do an e-bolt here. 
you can see I'm already KOS. We'll do an E-bolt here. They don't hit hard. And they'll just drain real quick. Okay. <clears throat> they'll start healing themselves. But they won't outheal your E-bolt. Well, maybe they will. They won't outheal an E bolt and a drain soul. <laughs> okay, super easy. Now, if we go ahead and we look at our faction here, we see Kara of the Barren Coast went up, Merchants of Eridan went way down, High Guard of Eridan went down, High Council of Eridan went down, but Heretics, the one we want, went way up by 45. The big faction hits. Um, like I said, four or five of those guys are going to be at the faction you need in order to um, do the final turn in. And that's it. So you get your three items. Your, uh, well, let's actually do a recap here. So we go and we talk to Ernax the Scholar in the library in Paynil. We tell him, I wish to speak on matters of the soul. He gives us a book. We give that book back to him. He gives us a box. We take that box. We go to Greater Fadark. We kill the Druid, Alenia, whatever her face is, to get a Heart of the Pure Druid. She always drops it. She's always up. She doesn't have any placeholders or anything. Um, <clears throat> we go to Everfrost to find the Dark Assassin. The Dark Assassin does appear in other zones, however, finding the placeholder is really easy in Halas. You find a Goblin Whelp somewhere around the southern part of the zone, you kill it, you walk back to the tower, uh, two minutes-ish later, it's like two and a half minutes later, another placeholder will spawn, it will either be another Goblin Whelp, it will be a Snow Leopard, or it will be the Dark Assassin. The Dark Assassin is level 50. He will kick your butt if he resists. Um, so have so, not just J boots. Um, have a full mana pool and be ready to kill him. You can solo him. He drops the bloody mantle every time. You take the bloody mantle, you take the heart, you put him in the box. You get a friend who is not KOS and Halas to go to Gorth. Give him 50 plat. He will give you a potion of sorrow, which is no drop. You take the potion of sorrow and your buddy over to Jalen Goldsinger in Tox right here you have your friend turn in the potion of sorrow to Jalen Goldsinger he casts pacification on Jalen Goldsinger you walk up to Jalen invisible you put a hundred plot on your cursor you have your friend start in casting invisibility on you right before it lands you click once to drop your invisibility, twice to hand the 100 plat. Invisibility hits, makes you invisible. You hit give, you get the crystal of capturing. You combine those three items in the box. You go back to Paynil to the Tormented Soul. After you have your faction, your heretic faction at Kindly, you give the box to the Tormented Soul, and he gives you your Mantle of Souls. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. Uh, like I said, this is probably the best shoulder item in the game overall out of any caster classes that you can get. It's better than raid loot. It really isn't difficult. Um, you just need to make a friend. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions about this quest, you need any more details, you'd like me to show you any certain pieces, uh, let me know in uh, the comments. Um, feel free to subscribe. Um, I have heard from several of you who are on the server who have sent me messages requesting videos. Uh, I will get to those. Like I said, uh, the family's been a little sick, so we will get around to some of those videos. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thanks for reaching out to me um, in-game and requesting things. And uh, we'll talk to everyone later. Hope this was helpful. See ya.